Hello everybody, this is Brent Justice, aka The Doctor, and welcome to more Star Trek Online. So, today is the 18th of May, and we are literally three days from the launch of Legacy of Romulus Expansion, which comes out on the 21st, which is a Tuesday. And uh, today I am just going to show you a preview of what I can, basically, on Tribble. Uh, this is uh, the weekend of the uh, Tribble play. I believe if you play this weekend you get a little extra bonus if you play for like an hour on Tribble. Um, and so this is the first time I've logged in to uh, Tribble in a long time and um, I've gone ahead and transferred a character over. And in this video, I just want to show you some of the changes that are coming to Star Trek Online when the expansion releases. Because they have revamped the UI, and uh, which is the uh, user interface, and just a ton of different things in the game. So I want to explore them. I really have no idea where this video is going to go because I don't, I don't know, I don't have a checklist of like everything they've changed. But I figure that we'll log in and and see for ourselves um, what we can just determine as uh, what has changed. So first of all, uh, we're right here at the at our launch screen when you first launch the game after you log in, and I have already transferred a character. So this is that character selection screen uh, that we used to have in the old version. This has obviously changed in uh, this new version, in, in the expansion. It looks like uh, when you click on your character here on the left side, uh, of course you can rename or delete your character. Um, but it, it looks like it shows you now a preview of your how your characters and what ship you have. Because here's my uh, Mobius ship, Wells class ship, uh, not Mobius, excuse me, the Wells class ship um, that I have on this character. And then here's my character and exactly what he looks like. And here are my bridge officers. Uh, this is one of my bridge officers. This is my liberated Borg. Here's my Breen. Here's my uh, Reman. So it's showing my bridge officers and my ship. And so I suspect as I have more characters or I put more characters on here or whatever, if I have a ton of characters, I'll be able to click on them and then just visually see uh, my bridge officers and the ship. And this is a good this is a good screen right here. Let's say if you want to make a screenshot of, uh, of just a quick way to look at your bridge officers and your ship together like if you want to make an icon on a forum or let's say one of those signature bars on a forum a lot of people like to do those this would be a good way a good uh, place right here just to take a screenshot of this and you could make that you know into a forum signature or an or a avatar or an icon or something like that so I kinda like this very cool it's a visual representation of your um, crew and it looks like I can even move them around I can swirl my character around here I uh, can't do the other ones but I can move my character around it tells the name of my ship uh, where I'm currently at I like this it tells where my character is currently at so I don't even have to log in yet I can just look right here and tell where I last left my character right so I kind of like that and it says these are the voyages of the uh, USS so it says like just like you know in Star Trek these are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise and so it sh says your ship name that is really cool now here's what's new if you want to create a new character um, now we have three different options Federation Klingon and this will be the new Romulan one I do not know if I can create a Romulan character on Tribble I um, d didn't was not invited to the beta so I did not have access to get into that unfortunately but if we click new character let's just look at what's changed here so we can click on Starfleet and uh, this is the new character creation of Starfleet and I like how it shows the first ship you're gonna get so you can just visually see right there the the ship you're gonna start out with and you can do engineering science or tactical on the right side and it's got a little icon here's a here's a, a turret and for science, here's a tricorder, and then for tactical, there's a weapon. So it kind of gives you a visual indication of what each career is about. And of course, if you hover over it, then it also gives a description. Um, and then of course, it changes the color of the uniform as well. Um, and this is where you can select your species. Here's uh, human, here's Andorian, here's Bajoran, Benzite, Beta Z. 
So, or Cation, or whatever. Here's a Z-Store one that I don't have. Um, so I like this because it gives you just a little icon that shows you what that character will look like without even having to click on it. And then when you click on it, it updates on the right side. I can't move her around though or do anything there yet. So that's cool. Of course, I can also change to male, do the same thing. So that is very cool. And then if you don't have one of the items, it says this species is unlockable through the C-Store in-game. So unfortunately though, it doesn't give me a link to the C-Store right here. I think it would be kind of cool if you were on the character creation screen to just kind of click to the C-Store and go ahead and buy that item directly from here. Because, and then it would be um, like right there activatable. But I guess that's something you just have to buy out of, outside of the game or otherwise. Um, tells you about the race and class and you can read those side by side that and it changes as you change the race and as you change the class that changes as well so that is extremely cool for uh, looking side by side at all your options and abilities and everything very cool and so, of course, then here's the ro new Romulan side, the one that, of course, we're going to play and everyone <laughs> will be playing. So this is their starter ship that you start out with. And here's what the Romulan uh, male. It looks like I only have two male options. I've got this, which, what is he? What kind of alien is that? Oh, he's just alien. So you can play as an alien or a Romulan uh, as, as a uh, male. As female, same thing, either Romulan or uh, an alien so very limited to what you can play on the Romulan side but I guess it makes sense that if you're gonna play on the Romulan side you'd want to be a Romulan although if you go to Klingon side you do have more options for example they have Klingon they have Gorn you know they have uh, Trill they have uh, the Lethian so and Nausicaan and uh, Orion so the Klingons have more options Romulan's just gonna have that now, I believe, or I hope, that they're going to have a Riemann in the future. I don't know if they already do. Maybe you have to purchase that Legacy Pack, which I have not purchased yet. But, or at least this is, just remember, this is Tribble, so I, maybe the main, you know, when this comes out, for reals, uh, we'll have more options. But right now, this is just what's on Tribble. Uh, engineering, science, tactical, just like your others. Interesting that his uniform doesn't change colors, though. Um, so you got that and of course I showed you there's the Klingon side and your starter ship um, so let's just go through this real quick I'm not gonna go through the whole process of creating a new character because um, we're going to obviously do that when we do the real run through uh, when this comes to holodeck or the main server but you would go to appearance and then start selecting your appearance so here's just a little uh, look at uh, what you can do for the Romulan. Let's see, we've got Engineer. Let's see, what did I... Uh, I'm going to be playing as a Science Romulan, so I got that selected, so... Engineer... Formal... Rustic... Gunslinger... Interesting. Survivor Rugged? I kind of like that. Survivor Warrior. So there's some different... Um, so I guess you would select it and then you do apply to character. Let's try it. Let's try uh, Survivor Rugged, apply to character. Okay, there you go. That's how it shows up. Interesting. There's Gunslinger. <laughs> Let's leave that. You know what you could do? You could totally, with an outfit like that, create a, a uh, Mal character like on Firefly. All he needs is a couple of revolvers on his side and he's good to go, right? Uh, let's see, so you can change the stance, of course, just like the other ones. Um, his height is a slider now, so you can change his height. And then you can go into advanced options, head, body, uniform. Of course, he's, they have built-in heads here and faces to select from, and different foreheads and hair options too. And um, You can change his face color, eye color, and hair color. And you can still change between male or female here. Um, if we go to head, 
Okay, here's all the advanced options for the head, just like we've shown before. And by the way, now you, you're seeing the new U UI differences, obviously. Um, very uh, L-cars looking in a way. And I like the different color coded scheme, uh, schemes to each, um, to each race, or to each uh, option there. So there's the body, and then there's uniform. We can uh, really, uh, you know, just go and do everything manually, which is what I'll probably do when I create a character, because I want to spend a lot of time here. Look at that. Sleeveless. That's awesome. There's some good uniforms for the Romulans here. I'm liking this. That's pretty cool. I'm liking this for the Romulans. They got a lot of good uh, uniform options here. And I bet you could probably eventually they'll have more you can buy, you know, in the C store or Z store. So that's uniform, that's appearance. Um, pretty much what you would expect. Um, just the, the layout of all this is different. And then the background, you fill in his name. Um, ship name and the ship names on the Romulan side is the RRW so it'll be RRW and whatever and then a biography so that's just like you would do on all the other factions um, except this is a Romulan one and then you hit engage it would go into um, the tutorial I guess but I don't want to quite get there yet because we're gonna play that uh, when it gets to holodeck officially on the 21st I will go through the character creation process hit engage and I'll record the whole thing uh, doing the tutorial I don't want to spoil myself I'm just gonna wait until this is officially launched but that gives you a little overview of what you can expect out of the Romulan character creation screen so that is awesome and you see some of the UI changes right I can zoom in and out apparently <laughs> so there you go you can do that um, let's log in as uh, my main character on holodeck on, on Tribble here and just see what some other changes are. Oh, that's cool. It kind of beams out and then takes you. And it looks like the load screens are darker too. So here we are. Earth Space Dock should be a very familiar uh, place for everybody. And this is the new UI. This is really what I wanted to look at for this video is uh, exploring the new user interface. And it looks like I need to move some things around. Remember you can hit escape and go to rearrange HUD to move things because that was overlapping that so that was odd but that's how you do that. So alright let's look at this real quick. Let's start at the top here. Um, it's got the normal Vice Admiral. You click that and then it tells you your rank and all the abilities you're going to get when you rank up commendations that you have and everything so that's normal it's just it looks a little different um, you have your fleet bars for your bonus fleet marks and uh, bonus fleet credits um, pretty much in the same location you can select what you want to show um, your bar here for your health your shield and your health um, it all, I mean, it, it looks similar. Um, but what I'm really noticing, what I really like is down here, look how colorful this is. This is a lot more colorful than uh, what is currently in Star Trek Online. Like every ability ha is colored now instead of just a flat one color like they were doing blue and white with a dark background. It looks like they now have, they're now colorized. So that means it'll be a lot more visual to remember what your powers and abilities are. You'll be able to just visualize what they are um, just by color. So that's kind of cool. I like that. It helps me remember things a little bit easier. Of course, your active abilities you got going there. The chat um, looks... Uh, you can obviously resize it and everything just like you can before. It looks a little cleaner. I like it. Very nice. Um, and then here's all your other abilities and things you can do in, in chat. And right, and it shows the channel that you're in. Let's see how you change channels. It's just like that. Okay. Hello, everyone. So that works just like normal. You can hit enter and then type. So that works. 
and I'm assuming you can uh, right now you can't right click on this anymore you used to be able to right click right here and it would bring up another menu where you had options um, okay you have to click on the actual button so like this button here if I right click there we go now we can select uh, the different buttons that we want we can add new tabs check that out chat two so I can then add you know what chats I want to go into that chat channel for that one that is very cool of course there's um, there's I guess these are all the channels I'm subscribed to so I can look at those and then uh, okay okay very cool of course a lot of these aren't accessible on um, um, Tribble but uh, when it comes to holodeck it'll make more sense so that's cool that's all about the same just looks different uh, and this down here of course like I said is all color coded doesn't look like the abilities look any different themselves just that they're color coded let's see we can go to three three rows two rows or one row we can select our powers so here's what they all look like and you can see they all have color well some of them don't actually these don't these are not colorized this one's colorized a little bit that's that's colorized that's colorized so some are colorized and some aren't I find that very interesting I, I bet in the future they'll eventually update all the art but for right now that is what that looks like and of course you got your missions over here on this side just like before nothing's changed there really um, but all this has changed but the art the art on these has changed obviously buttons look different they're all in the same place though so you'll still easily be able to get to what you need to get to they're they're just they're just uh, just the art has changed on it you can still zoom in on the mini map and of course you can move anything around rearrange HUD and um, all of these are, are and I like now now they're color-coded when you hover over them they're colorized a little bit better so that's very cool you can move any of those to where you need to so that's normal let's look at the character menu okay this is uh, now what the character menu looks like and it's a little different um, everything is now in a row on the right side it looks like no matter how far you stretch it it's still all on that row you've got your kit now which is the first item I find that interesting body and shield so no longer is it called um, whatever it was called before armor or whatever it's now your body and then your shields and then your two weapons and then your devices so it just looks a little different you have to get used to that um, but it's it all makes sense it's not hard to get used to um, hmm. and I can move my character around here oh that is cool of course I couldn't do that before but now we can look I can move them up and down I can twirl them around I can zoom in and out on them okay okay that's kind of cool I like that so you can put things on then or turn the visuals on or off and then uh, see if you like them or not alright that's cool um, let's look at our ship ship is pretty much the same none of the order has changed four weapons deflector impulse oh yes now you've got the new warp thing and we'll have to talk about this because I'm gonna have to figure all this out myself um, they've added a new thing basically in um, the the expansion a new part to your ship and it's called the warp core and it just makes perfect sense uh, right because I mean warp cores are very you know big part of starships in uh, Star Trek online or I mean in Star Trek general so uh, here, here's what it says. Warp cores affect speed and turn rate in sector space, as well as engineering skills and power levels. And what I was reading about this is that your warp core, yes, it will change your power levels So, uh, and your engineering skills. And that's really the biggest thing. So you're going to have to look at different warp cores now. Uh, and, and depending on what warp core you have will change your skill set or your power levels. So that could be very important in space combat. Um, and the game is going to give you when you start out on holodeck you will see it's going to give you a standard mark 10 so it's a matter antimatter warp core mark 10 and that is what you are all, what everybody is going to have by default 
it's just automatically going to give you that. Um, let's read a little bit about it, see if there's info on it. Yeah, the standard issue matter antimatter warp core enable, enables warp travel in sector space. There's no modifiers to it. It's standard. It's common. Uh, but there will be uncommon, rare, and very rare warp cores. And then I'm guessing there will be, you know, up to Mark 12 warp cores. So warp cores are something that we're now going to have to look at. And obviously people are going to want the best ones. But they are going to have different modifiers. So you're going to have to look at what modifiers actually help your ship and help your power levels. Like if you're a science heavy ship on auxiliary, you want maybe a lot of auxiliary power or a warp core that shunts a lot of power to auxiliary. You know, if you're more tactical weapons, you may want one more toward weapons or power weapon power level. If you want one on a cruiser, maybe more toward defense like shields. So that will be an interesting thing to add in to the game uh, that we're going to have to look at. And I do not know all the different kinds of warp cores they're going to have, but apparently, from what I've read, they will be plentiful just like everything else. You'll be able to go to the exchange for, in fact, and you know, buy warp cores from the exchange. And hopefully when the game comes out there will be a lot available. I don't know how else you get more warp cores. They may be drops, I'm not sure. Maybe mission rewards as we play, um, as we play missions. Maybe now warp cores are a mission reward. Uh, I know on the Romulan side they're going to have the Singularity Core which is the same thing. It's going to be a warp core for the Romulan side. So obviously as we level through the Romulan side, we'll be looking at getting new warp cores. So there'll be a lot of learning process as we go through that, but I can't wait. That'll be exciting because I'm not sure what to expect yet, to be honest with you. So uh, I'm going to go look in the exchange here on Tribble and just see if there's any other warp cores. I really doubt it because it just came out and all that stuff. But I just want to look real quick. Uh, let's look at some other stuff. Um, of course, our other characters, pretty much the same. Body, shield, weapon, and devices that you can put on your characters. And you can move them around as well. That's all the same. Nothing's really changed there. You can edit their records, their career options. All that's the same. Let's look at skills. It doesn't look like anything's changed on the skills. Thank goodness, because we're just now getting used to this this change that they made a while ago. Uh, space skills, engineering systems, science and operation, and then your ground skills. All of that looks the same. Thank goodness they have not done a revamp on this because uh, that would be a whole other thing to learn. <laughs> but that looks good. Um, ah yes, traits. Here's the new part. New thing I've been looking forward to. Um, in the past, whatever traits you selected at your character creation, you could not change in the game. Well, now you're going to be able to uh, change your change your traits. So this is a good thing because as you first develop your character, you may have a set of traits that work, you know, at the beginning of the game. But then when you get to end game, you may want to change your traits because you've decided your character leans more toward a certain type of playstyle. So this is awesome. Um, However, it looks like you do need respect tokens to respect those traits, and I got I have one respect token by default the game is giving me. Uh, I don't know if we'll get any more or not, but um, right now, Tribble, at least on Tribble, we're getting one respect token. Uh, are you sure you want to respect your traits? No, not yet. So basically, uh, you have, let's see, I don't, I'm not sure how this works yet. Um, available traits, space traits, okay, these are the available ones and these are the active ones. Oh, and you have more. Oh, I can add more traits. I have more. Oh, this is good because you were limited. Remember in the past, you were only limited to four traits. Here are my active traits. Creative. That's one trait I already have. Natural immunities. That's one trait I have on this character. Peak health and resilient. These were the four traits I went with when I created this character because I chose alien so that I could specifically select my traits. Well now it looks like I can have more active traits than just four. I can have one, two, three, four, five more active traits. Wow, if that is true and you can really activate five more traits, well these characters are just going to be so much more powerful than they were in the beginning. I don't know how that's going to work out. This game's already easy enough. Adding five more traits just seems like maybe overkill. I don't know, but wow five more traits that we can add to our character 
I think. I, I think that's what it's saying. Let's try one and see what happens. Because this is just on Tribble, so it's just testing, and I, I want to know what happens. Okay, this increases ship weapon accuracy. That's cool. So let's say I'm going to click this slot, which doesn't really change anything. Let's click that, just, and let's do activate. Yeah, it did. It totally put that in an available slot. So I can add one, two, three, four more. Okay. Um, and it looks like there's a lot more traits now because conservation of energy, that's a new trait I've never heard of before. Space trait, this trait causes all energy weapon attacks against you to have a chance to increase your exotic damage. This damage increase stacks up to three times. Exotic damage powers are powers whose damage increases with the starship particle generator skill. Okay, see that's a new thing in this game. I've never heard of that before. So there are new traits. Photonic capacitor reduces photonic fleet cooldown. Ooh, I like that. And I use photonic fleet a lot. Ooh, I like that trait. And I, I also like efficient captain. I should have had that on there anyway. Well, let's activate efficient captain. And let's activate photonic capacitor. Okay, I got two more slots. Let's make them for ground. Wow, medical vanguard. That's new. I've never heard of that. This trait enhances all of your buffs and heals to harden their target shields, preventing any damage from bleeding through the shields and hitting the target. Wow. Well, there's a lot here that we can lead th read through and add. Man, this is cool. And then there's even another category called Special Traits, which is not even in there yet. Wow, we're going to have a ton of new traits. This is just really, really, really crazy. <laughs> Hmm, well, I'll just for now, let's just add something just so we can have. Let's do uh, Lucky. And then do let's do the new Medical Vanguard. That sounds cool. So there we go. Now I have all new, I have new traits. Oh, let's see, Commit Traits. All right, they're committed. So these are now my traits. I now have a ton of new traits on my character. Wow. So if I wanted to change one, then I'd have to go to Respect Trait. Click OK, and then I bet I could change one out for another one. But to do that, you have to respect your traits, each one, one by one. That could probably cost a lot of money, because you're going to have to go to the Z store to buy tokens to respect your traits. But I like the fact that you're getting more traits than four just starting out you know, in the game. So that means everybody who's, who's played this game, when this all comes to holodeck, um, go to this traits menu and go add new traits because you're going to be missing out on a lot you're going to be missing out on a lot basically if you don't um, because we can add now like five new traits so or six or whatever it was we can add a ton of new traits you want that to make your character better because people are going to do that and if you don't do that you're going to be underpowered so there you go when the when this comes out go to traits and look at those traits and add them very important for your character and i like that that's cool Stations, oh, that's all normal, and it looks like none of my <laughs> none of my stations carried over from uh, from uh, holodeck. Well, that sucks. I don't remember what I had where. <laughs> well, I don't want to mess with it right now. Reputation, okay, that's just like we are used to, except there's more. Huh, okay, so here we go. Task Force Omega. We all know what that is. We've looked at that. Um, in fact, I've got my character up to max on a Task Force Omega, even though it only shows tier, tier 0 here. That's not true. On Holodeck, it's maxed out. So um, we know what that is. We know what the Romulan, Romulan one is. I'm working on that one. But this one is new. Nukara, Nukara Strike Force. Okay, a brand new reputation that we get to work on. <laughs> And I don't know where you're going to get the points for these, but let's look at this because this is this is new. This is interesting. Um, identify vulnerability. Your attacks ignore some of your target shields in ground combat, or increase your maximum health in ground combat, or your directed energy attacks ignore some of your target shields in space combat or improves maximum hull by 5% in space combat. 
In tier 3, we've got emergency fix, chance to trigger a heal over time, shield resistance when critically hit, or chance to immobilize and inflict cold damage over time on critical hit. And then at tier 4, we've got auxiliary power configuration, defense. In space combat, you gain starship hull plating, starship structural integrity, and starship shield power performance equal to 20% of your auxil auxiliary power. That is a very powerful thing right there. And auxiliary power configuration, offense. In space combat, you gain starship weapons training, energy weapons training, and starship proje projectile weapon training equal to 20% of your auxiliary power. Another powerful, powerful thing. Also remember on the Romulan side, or yeah, on, um, well, no, I don't know what I was thinking. But yeah, anyway, that's powerful. So okay, tier five. Refracting Tetrion Cascade. Release a cascading burst of Tetrion energy from your deflector dish at foes. The Tetrion Cascade will refract from initial targets to other nearby targets, dealing less damage with each jump. The refracting Tetrion Cascade can jump to two additional targets. The charge can only jump 5km to the next target. Okay, that's um, really kind of a weird thing. I'd like to see that in action. So all new powers we can gain for our ships and, our, um, and ground. So put that in addition to the new traits that we can add to our characters. And we are going to have extremely pow powerful characters in this game. Maybe overpowered. Uh, at least compared to the NPCs, because wow, just wow. Now let's see. Even and even at that, you get more stuff because at tier one, you get things that you can buy from the stores. So at tier one, you get very rare Mark 11 sonic anti-proton pistols or or rifles or assault weapons, and you can get a Widow Fighter Hanger Shattering Harmonics Environmental Suit. Nakura Strike Force Elite Environmental Suit. I don't know what all this is, but I want it. <laughs> At Tier 2, we can get um, Refracting Tetrion Beam Weapons. And Refracting Tetrion Light Cannons. And Refracting Tetrion... I don't even... What the heck is Refracting Tetrion? I don't know, but I want it. <laughs> Heavy Cannons. A uh, Nukara Particle Converter and a Nukara Web Breaker. I guess this is to fight against Stolians or something, I don't know, but wow. Tier 3, uh, Mark 12, Sonic Anti-Proton Pistols, Rifles and Assault Weapons, Widow Fighter Hangers, Crystalline Resilient Shields, Impulse Engines, Nukara Deflector Array. So there's a whole new ship set. Deflector Array, an Impulse Engine, and I'm guessing some the whatever the other thing, whatever it is, can't remember. Uh, personal Shield, Matrix, I'm just look at all this stuff. Reprogrammed Drones. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Number four, or Tier 4, uh, Refracting, or Mark 12, Refracting Tetrion Beam Weapons. Uh, Mark 12, Refracting Tetrion Light Cannons, Tetrion Heavy Cannons and Environmental Suits, Crystalline Resilient Shields, Impulse Engines, Deflector Array, and Nukara Web Mine Launchers. And at Tier 5, Ultra Rare Widow Fighter Hanger items, uh, Crystalline Resilient Shields, Nukara Impulse Engines, Deflector Array, Hyper Dual Refracting Tetrion Beam Bank. Say that five times fast. Hyper dual refracting tetrion beam bank. Hyper hyper dual refracting tetrion beam bank. Happy yeah. Whatever it is, I want it. Uh, crystal nanofiber environmental suit. Refractive nanofiber personal shield matrix. Hyper compressed cryo launcher. Shattering harmonics environmental suits. Reprogrammed drones three and utility drones. Dude, I don't know what all this is, but I want it. Now, how do you actually get this stuff? Provide resources to Nukara Strike Force to help fight the Tholian threat. So you're going to have to fight Tholians to get the points. So this one rewards 2,000 reputation, and this one is 800 reputation, just like the other ones. So when you select them, should add to what you have to do. So you have to get these Nukara, Nukara marks. Nukara marks can be obtained through assisting the stabilization efforts of the Nukara Strike Force. So that's new. 
and then of course the other things you have to add to get that too. So whatever the Nukara Strike Force is, you have to do that to get the Nukara Marks. But I want that. Ooh, that's gonna be good. I'm not even finished with the Romulus stuff yet. And now we got a whole nother one to work on. Wow! I am just blown away, to be honest with you. Let's see, ship skills. Those are also the same. Uh, of course your trade station, reputation, all that's the same. Um, for your characters, let's see, their skills are the same. And oh, they have traits. Of course, your your yeah, your um, your bridge officers have traits too, but it doesn't look like we can change them. There's no options to change them. But maybe there might be in the future. I bet. I bet eventually that's where they'll head to be able to change your bridge officer uh, traits as well. So that's that. New reputation. That's going to be awesome. Let's look real quick at uh, the uh, DOF system. Doesn't look like anything's changed here. Diplomatic, science, you know, all that's the same. Assign obviously, there'll probably be new DOF assignments, but I mean, the, lay the layout and everything, how you get them started, all that's the same. Your duty officers, request duty officers, department heads, all that's the same for the DOF system. So there'll probably be new DOF missions, but uh, the whole layout is the same. Um, of course, you got the dilithium exchange. You starship, shuttle bridge, bulletins, music player credits. Um, this is what I wanted to look at because I want to. I want to know how to get those new car things. So challenge, no reward. Okay, see they got gear and dilithium, EDC. I don't know why EDC is still there. You don't have EDCs anymore. Fleet marks, Romulan marks, Omega. So they don't have the new new car thing on there yet. But obviously it will be. And what's this choice of marks? Oh, this is cool. Choose between Romulan and Fleet Marks. Doing the Defend Relijo Re <laughs> Station. Grab a flashlight and take them down and you get a choice of marks. That's pretty cool. Here's another choice of marks. Atmosphere Assault. Earn Romulan Marks or Fleet Marks for helping the Romulan colonists. This atmosphere combat mission is for Kara's cool. Azura Nebula Rescue, yeah, we know what that is, but it's cool that now they have a choice. You can, you can have a choice of Rhymelander Fleet. Gear Dilithium, there's the Omega Marks. Mind Trap, we know that, the Big D, all that's the same. But they don't have the new Kara stuff on here yet, so obviously that will come. And Because uh, I want to know how to get those new Kara Marks, or how hard it's going to be. We're going to have to play some of those missions and see how hard they are and what it's all about. All right, that's cool. There's the, the DOF, yeah. Of course, the Dilithium store. Uh, the Z store. All that's the same. Hail Starfleet. That's where, you, of course, you start your missions and do everything, and all that's the same. Episodes. Of course, there's no new episodes right now on the Federation side, but... But it'll be the Romulan side that we are really look, going to be looking at here on the 21st. Um, the uh, friends menu, all oh, that's the same friends. And the fleet, I'm not in a fleet on Tribble, but I am on Holodeck. Um, let's go up to, s actually let's go to the exchange real quick because I wanted to look at uh, the warp cores, see if there's anything in there about warp cores yet. I don't even know where you would search. I guess ship equipment. Ship warp cores. And there you go. Okay, there are a lot of different warp cores on here. Of course, at different varying levels. Let's look at the um, uh, the top. See if there's any... Uh, no, not under Vice Admiral. Probably be under uh, Vice Upper. No? Okay, maybe lower then. Hyper Injection Warp Core. Field Stabilizing Warp Core. And an Overcharge Warp Core. Okay, let's look at Hyper Injection. Hyper Injection Warp Cores increase the maximum engine power by 5. And plus 7.5 additional engine power, plus 5 maximum engine power. That's cool. See what field stabilizing. 
Field stabilizing warp cores increase the maximum shield power by five. And then overcharge increase the maximum auxiliary. So there you go, basically shield, uh, what was it? Shield, um, auxiliary, and, uh, and uh, engine power. There's probably gonna be more. Let's look at, um, let's go down to uh, captain level. Hyper injection, field stabilizing, overcharged. So that's three. Only show usable items. So oh, that's new. So it only shows what you are able to use at one time. That's cool. I don't know if there are any, you know, rare or whatever. No, there's no very rare. There's no rare right now. But there are uncommon ones, but they're low level. People, of course, are playing on Tribble, probably getting these as drops. And you can see there are modifiers, like this one has a modifier called Rep, which I don't know what that does. Um, I don't know what it does, but it has a modifier of Rep. And this one has a modifier of Koi. Oh, okay, plus 10 to Starship Driver Coil. And this must be then subsystem repair. That's what it is, rep for repair. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so these are gonna have modifiers. Obviously uncommon only has one modifier, but rare would have two, and then uh, very rare would have three modifiers. So you're gonna get like repair and coil and different modifiers on these things. That's gonna be super sweet. So not only do you have the increased power, to the different things you want, but you also have modifiers which can help you with different things. Wow! Just a ton of uh, of things there we're gonna have. Let's go up to space real quick, see if there's any changes. My bridge officers aren't set unfortunately, but um, anyway we can uh, do that later. Yeah, it looks like basically the same thing, we just gotta move things around so that they fit because my things are really overlapping here oh, there we go that cleared that up except I don't want that there in fact I don't want it anywhere I want it to go away hide and you hide there okay so here's our new weapon here's our new power thing chats overlapping that this tells you what you've got going. This is, of course, we know what all that is. And of course, our buttons here are also also going to be um, colorized here as well. Everything goes red when you're under alert. Oh, how cool is that? Look, it's like fading in and out of red because I'm, I just activated a power, so I'm in red alert right now. Watch when it goes out of red alert. It goes back to blue. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. It's a subtle thing. Yes, it's like, wow, why didn't they ever think of that before? You know, it just adds that little bit of like, whoa, we're under red alert, you know? It's very cool. So there's my ship. Everything pretty much the same. We already looked at all that. Except for the warp core. And I guess the warp core does not give you a different visual. Uh, but I think it would be cool that if in time they had different visuals for warp cores. That just that would just make things, you know, a little bit even neater, you know what I mean? I'd like to see that. So there's the space view, everything. Everything in the same place, everything as you would expect it, just looks different and looks better. Wow. But I am really excited about that new uh, reputation, the new Kara stuff. I'm really excited about the warp cores, and I'm really excited about the traits. Those three things alone make this expansion awesome. But then on top of that, we're getting a whole playable Romulan class. I mean, holy crap. This is the biggest expansion the game has ever seen in one patch. <laughs> I'll just say that. Alright, so here's what we plan to do. We've now taken a preview of what's new in Star Trek Online coming on the 21st. 
And so what I'm going to do is as soon as this becomes online in uh, retail on Holodeck, I will be recording a uh, session. Uh, and I'm just going to record. And basically, I'm going to go through the character creation process. Um, I'll try not to take too long because sometimes I can take a really long time. I'll try not. I'll, I'll try to make that go pretty fast because I want to record the tutorial that Romulan side is going to have, and we'll get through that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play each Romulan mission in order, and uh, I'll record each mission as a whole video. So they could be pretty lengthy. Imagine that one whole mission. I mean, it could take me an hour to an hour and a half to play if it's a really long mission. Plus, these are all the first time I've, I'll be playing these missions. I really want to explore them and uh, see the world and, and, and you know, get... Th to see what Cryptic has created here with these missions. So I'm going to be taking my time in the Romulan missions. I'll be exploring the world, looking around, uh, and obviously really getting into the story. So um, expect my Let's Play videos for the Romulan faction to be pretty lengthy. Um, but I, that's what I want to try to do because there's going to be a lot of episodes to play, like 50 episodes or 50 missions. So I don't want to cut them up into smaller videos because then I would have hundreds and hundreds of videos. I would rather just have one video for each mission just like I did on the Federation and Klingon side. That's my plan anyway. So um, hopefully that'll work out. But I'm going to hit the ground running on the 21st and uh, as soon as it's released, um, <laughs> barring any game crashes, because I'm going to tell you the servers will probably be really, really loaded. So we may see a lot of lag and a lot of lag in load time. That's what I'm really fearing, and maybe even some disconnects. But hopefully it'll go okay enough to record videos that night because I'm going to hit the ground running, I'm going to record these videos and get them uploaded for you guys as quickly as I can. So that's only coming in three days. It's only three days away. And uh, obviously I'm going to keep doing my other Let's Play on games that I'm doing right now at the same time, but uh, I'll also be working on this one, so expect... Expect all that. Uh, every every day I'm going to try to have a Star Trek Online video up every day. Um, they'll just be really lengthy because I'm going to do you know one mission at a time. So uh, stay tuned everybody and thank you for watching and I hope you will stay for my Let's Play of the Romulan Faction because that's going to be a whole lot of fun. I cannot wait. Thank you for watching this preview and stay tuned to the next.